Hey everybody, how you all doing today? Um, it is a very cold but beautiful Sunday here in um, Ohio where I just happen to live right now. I came on today because I just wanted to share an experience that I had. Um, I approached today like I do most of my days. I woke up with awesome intentions. You know, today is like the first day that I've had off and had to myself in like maybe three weeks. Um, I've been doing classes and working full time and I was out of town taking care of business, visiting family and everything and then came back home and you know, just jump right back into work. I came back to a bunch of orders, which I'm very grateful for. I'd like to say shout out to all those ladies that purchased those coats. I really appreciate you. I hope you guys love them all. Um, also, we had a lot of orders with the curl shop, so I had to, you know, work on backlog orders while going to classes, while working full time. So that's been pretty hectic and busy. Um, in my life. And, and and that's cool. I'm not complaining about that. I feel blessed to be able to have those types of problems. <laughs> okay. Especially when people have such, you know, terrible problems in their lives, but you know, being busy, that's kind of problem that a lot of people want to have. And I'm, and I'm glad I actually have that one. Um, nevertheless, so I woke up today with the intention of spending some quality time with myself self-love kind of day, right? So I grabbed my little notebook and I grabbed my sewn magazine, which I didn't have a chance to read. I, I've had it for a couple of weeks, but I've been so busy that I haven't really had the time to sit down and take a look at it and absorb it because I didn't want to just flip through the pages. It's such a beautifully crafted magazine. I thought that I needed to sit down and give it the time that it deserved, right? So I was allowing that magazine to share time with me today, right? No problem. Okay. So I grab my notebook, I get my magazine, I get my little bag and everything. And I said, hey, let's just go to a cute little coffee shop or something. You know, I, I love coffee and I wanted to go have a nice coffee shop. And then here, unfortunately, there, there's no black coffee shop or black owned coffee shop that I know of in Akron, Ohio. So I said, well, I'll just go somewhere local. I'm not going to go to Starbucks, right? I'm just not going to go to Starbucks. So anyway, I said, well, I'll just run over here to Nervous Dog because it's, it's close to the area where I live. You know, it's locally owned. And I just, I thought it would be a good experience. And I, I was in there before with my sister like months ago. It was just like a really cute little spot, right? It's okay. So I go there with all these great intentions. I grab my bag, run over there, I get there. They're super busy. I mean, packed, nowhere to sit when you walk in, right? It's like all the tables are full. The only seating area they had was like at the couch area near the front door. And so they had uh, like, I think it was probably like six people in front of me. There was like four people behind me. So I moved to the line patiently and I thought, okay, this is cool. Everybody was calm and quiet. And the, and the guy was one guy working today and he was, you know, serving everyone. So every person that he served, he was like, he was like, hey, how are you today? What can I do? No, he said, hey, how are you today? How can I help you? Or what can I get for you? He said that five to six times till he got to me. <laughs> so anyway, you know, I get up to the front of the line and keep in mind, I, I can hear people talking. I'm in line, but I hear the people sitting there and they're talking, gasping, people clutching their pearls, like, what the hell is she doing here? That, that's how I felt. But nevertheless, I wasn't going to let them, you know, affect my vibe for today. I had, I had already intended my day. I know how I felt. I felt great. And I was going in there to have something to drink and read this magazine. That was my intention. And that's what I was going to do. So anywho, so I get up to the counter and keep in mind, the guy had waited on six people prior to me and asked everyone the same question. Hi, how are you? How can I help you today? Hey, how are you? What can I get for you today? Okay. So I get up there and he's like, and, and he had a normal tone of voice with everyone else. So he gets to me and he's like, hey, miss, hey, miss, twice. And I'm, I'm looking around and I was like, why, why is he talking to me like that? I didn't think anything of it at first. And uh, I said, um, hi, 
uh, I like to get the caramel, whatever that coffee was that I got, and then I ordered the apple fritter because in the case it looked really good, you know. So he says, well, he says, this for here to go. I said, well, I'm going to have it here. And he says, oh, okay. So then he puts the little fritter on the uh, plate and put it there. And he said, well, you know, we don't have any more mugs. Uh, would you mind your, you want your coffee in a, in a paper cup? And I was thinking like, why does he ask me about mugs, you know? So then I said, well, yeah, I guess, right? You don't have any other way to serve it to me. I guess I have to take the paper cup, right? Then I look around and I notice that everyone else there had these really huge, really nice coffee mugs for their coffee. But, you know, he'd offer me a paper cup. So I'm like, okay, cool. I'll do the paper cup thing. Plus, you know, hey. Now that I think about it, I'm like, okay, it was probably a better option anyway. <laughs> so, anyhow, so he goes back, he makes my little coffee and everything. I, you know, I paid and he makes my coffee and stuff. And I had nerve to even tip his ass too. I shouldn't have, but anyhow. So he, he makes my stuff and then I take it and, and um, no, he brings it back to me. He's like, um, he asked me, I want whipped cream. And I'm like, yeah. So then he puts the lid on it, smashing everything down and he hands it to me. And he's like, so here you go, have a good day. And I'm like, but I'm eating it here. I, I just told you it was for here, right? Well, anyway, so I grab my little stuff and I go have a seat. And I'm sitting there trying to read my magazine. Keep in mind, you know, I'm hearing the conversations that's going on in the back. And I hear people rustling their papers, you know, getting a little shit together, whatever. And so I'm sitting there and I'm like, I'm, you know, checking my little Instagram or whatever, taking some pictures and, and enjoying my magazine, listening to these comments in the background. I'm like, dang. You know, it was like really awkward in here. I just didn't really feel warm or welcomed. So anyhow, I said, okay, I'll chalk it up to being me. I'll just say maybe I just didn't feel comfortable there. But then I go back and I say to myself, you know what? We always do that. We always make excuses for how we're treated. We act like it's something that is just normal. Like it's, it's, it's okay to be stared at. You know, it's okay for people to say, what is she doing here? Like they're whispering and they're two feet away. What the hell you mean, what am I doing here? I'm getting coffee just like you. What, what are you doing here? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, what the hell is wrong with these people? So anyhow, you know, so I'm sitting there, I'm, I'm kind of chuckling about everything that's going on. And I'm, and I'm eating it, and, you know, my little fritter was dry. It wasn't good. And I was like, damn, he didn't even offer to heat it up. And I didn't even want to go back up and ask because at this point, I didn't even want it, you know. And then I'm looking around, everybody else drinking their mugs. And, and despite the fact that there wasn't a mug available for me, the other people after me, mugs became available. And I don't know, maybe the dishwasher stopped. I don't know. <laughs> but, but they were all staying, too. And they were able to get their coffee and mugs. So anyhow, so, you know, so at first I thought about it and I was like, I was just going to brush it off and just let it go. And then, you know, I really started getting angry about it. I was like, you know, I, I'm pissed. I'm pissed off that the people in there were asking what I was doing there to each other like I couldn't hear them. That right there is unacceptable. So I want to say thank you to the Small Hats in Akron, Ohio, over in the Wahaven area at your little coffee shop uh, for making me feel away. Okay? But what you're not going to do, I'm not going to let them do, is ruin my vibe for the day. So I'm still having a great day. I just wanted to get on here and make this video to kind of just share that experience that I had. But, you know, Nervous Dog Cafe, you guys are canceled. <laughs> it's that simple. I will never go there again. I will never recommend you to anyone else. The coffee was not good, first and foremost. And even if I had good service, I would have to be honest and say the coffee was not good. And I don't know if it was just maybe my coffee wasn't good um, because maybe you didn't prepare the one that I actually asked for because I actually had that same coffee in the past um, when it was made by a young lady and it, it tastes a lot different than the watery coffee that I received today, you know? And that apple fritter was just petrified. You really, guys, you really need to take that off the shelf. It's not even edible or worthy of serving unless you heat it up. And if you're not gonna offer to heat it up for everyone, then 
probably just shouldn't offer it at all. So <laughs> that's that. I just, I'm just like feeling some kind of way. And I also think I feel some kind of way because, you know, even if somebody's out there saying, you know what, you had a choice, you didn't have to stay there or whatever. You know what? You're right. I had a choice. I had a choice to either patronize a small business, try to enjoy the day that I had intended for myself, try to get a cup of good coffee and and have a good experience at a local coffee shop or go home because there's no alternative for me there there are no uh locally owned black coffee shops or black owned coffee shops in my area to my knowledge and if there are any i need somebody to let me know because the sister would be there because i would much rather be in a place where I can have conversations with the people that are there and not feel like I'm the topic of conversation. You understand? I don't like feeling that way. I don't like being in a place where I don't. So, you know, I have to make do with what, what's available here in the Midwest while I'm here. I have a choice. I can, I can either open up a coffee shop for myself, but with the mentality of the people in this area, you know, they have this, um, some of y'all can get mad at me. I, I don't really give a damn. But they have this attitude, this need to feel approval from, you know, the colonizer, <laughs> so to speak. You know, feel like you, you have to patronize their businesses. You have to do, you know, stay in line. Everybody know their place here. I don't like that. I don't like feeling that way. I want to walk in somewhere and just, and just be able to be, to be who I am, the way that I am and get the same exact service that everybody else does. You know what I'm saying? That's all I ask. You're getting my money. My money has the same value as everyone else's money. So I expect to get the same treatment as everyone else. So now I'm ranting, sorry about that. <laughs> but I do feel some kind of way. I, we, need a, we need a coffee shop. Somebody, somebody open up a coffee shop. Maybe let's, let's put a GoFundMe together. Let's open one together. I mean, no. I just feel some kind of way, but Nervous Dog Cafe, you are canceled. Specifically the one in Wallhaven. Never go there again. <laughs> and I wouldn't recommend it to anyone. And I drink a lot of coffee, but I won't be drinking it there. Okay? Not at all. So, anyway, I just wanted to jump on and share this story with you guys. Uh, you, want, you got any feedback on it, you know, feel free to comment below you can share like subscribe i'm going to be doing more videos this is only my second youtube video um but i just wanted to share that one personal experience that i had today i actually have a couple of topics that i'm going to be talking about that um are relevant in our community and uh, other thing oh the other thing i wanted to say is uh Thanks. <laughs> Thanks for watching. So again, like, subscribe, share. Um, I'll, I'll look forward to talking or seeing you guys soon. And when I go live, hopefully having a conversation with you. All right. So enjoy the rest of your day because I am going to enjoy the rest of mine. I feel much more relieved now that I've gotten off my chest. I will not let the Nervous Dog Cafe Kill my vibe today. It's just not going to happen. All right. Peace.